Hey guys, what's up? Turbo here with a little piece of advice for anyone having the G-Sync problems with the last update from NVIDIA. People using capture cards are finding that it's not going exactly great with G-Sync right now. Uh, NVIDIA is aware of it. I've seen that they've responded that they know it's an issue and it should be patched in the next uh, driver update. But it's a flickering issue that people have and I found sort of a solution. It's not ideal but it works, so here's what I did to fix that. Okay guys, so here we are on my desktop. You can see some of my audio stuff going there, which I thought I would also quickly show you. If, like me, you don't want to get extra microphones and extra headsets and stuff, then audio repeater in conjunction with voice meter banana, depending on uh, your particular setup, is a good way to send all your audio across through your capture card, in my case, the Elgato here, you can see. So I can send my microphone into the Elgato, I can send the voice meter output into the Elgato, and then that goes over to the uh, other PC. It's, it's not ideal, obviously, but rather than paying extra for a mixer, that's that's what I've done. If you need an extra guide on how to do it, guys, then do let me know, and I'll uh, I'll get you sorted out with that. But I digress. On to how to sort of fix the flickering with G-Sync. Now, NVIDIA is aware of this, just so you guys know. Trust me on this, I've been looking really hard to try to find a solution to the problem, and they've said they know what's up, and they're going to fix it. So, how did I find a way around it? Well, it's not perfect, it's not ideal, but again, it is a temporary solution, a temporary fix until the next driver update. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a graphics card that supports it, you'll have something called dynamic super resolution, which sounds amazing. And it kind of is. So here we see my Elgato, and I've changed it so it's got the dynamic super resolution from 1080p up to something that more closely matches my monitor, in this case, 2560 by 1440 so I can actually be in 2K with a 1080p graphics card. And obviously, my G-Sync monitor has now also matched that with dynamic super resolution, which you can find in your 3D settings. Now, obviously, depending on your monitor and stuff, this could all be different. So don't panic. If in doubt, just turn on all the DSR factors here. Turn on all your dynamic super resolutions so if you've got a really bizarre monitor shape like 1600 by 900 or something like that, or I've, I've heard weirder stuff, the um, numbers here will be multiplications of what your monitor is. Now this could possibly work for capture cards that at 1080p. I did try to use a 4K capture card, but it's terrible, so that's going back. And I'm going to give up with that until there's a, a cheap alternative. But for now, this is working, so this is what I'm doing. So yeah, guys, you'll be able to use your G-Sync on your uh, full screen and windowed. Now, this hasn't fixed all games. It's just fixed some of the screen tearing that was happening in some games. This isn't an all-round solution. The only other thing you could do, guys, and it's going to suck for you guys using SLI, but a lot of games, you can mess around with the configs. Like, if I open Miscreated here, for example, I've got it so that it doesn't use full screen but it's using full screen window now it doesn't have the option but you can mess around with the config files and so now we don't have any of this flickering and to show you what that flickering looks like I will full screen it so you can see what is happening with this problem at the moment so yeah that's that's what it looks like at the moment until Nvidia fix it Apparently it's something to do with G-Sync and it not working properly if you're using a capture card. If you roll back your drivers, that is another solution, but if you need the current drivers, then yeah, this is a temporary solution. So yeah, while windowed full screen isn't ideal for everyone, like I say, this is, is a solution for now. Because there are a few games that really are not happy with this latest driver update. So there we go. 
everything's back to how it should be. And just another quick example, I'll just boot up Armour 3 here. Just play it without any mods. Just so I have something that actually does display that I am actually using 2K, so you know I'm not pulling a leg, guys. Obviously, I don't know if this problem persists for people that are using 1080p and a 1080p capture card. I think if all the resolutions are the same, you might be okay. But don't quote me on that. I think it's just a G-Sync issue at the moment. Do, 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 configure. Video. Display. So there you go. Full screen window. 2560 by 1440 p And if I just fire up the editor. I see, we still got no flicker in, but just so we have some free D to work with. Just so you can see that there's absolutely no screen tearing happening. And no flickering. So there we have it. Before, you couldn't see it in a recording, but you could see it when you were playing. There was some terrible screen tearing right in the center that was almost a constant band going across the screen so yeah that's that's all fixed with this uh, temporary solution guys hope that helps any questions please do fire away